Hey folks, good news from the Playwright teams. In the last release, they added a new feature called UI mode. And in this video, I'll show you how it works. So don't waste time, man. Let's jump in it. To use this feature, we have to use a simple flag. So we can type and pix playwright test dash dash ui and then press enter after that playwright open a new windows and in the left part you can see all the tests implemented in your uh, project in the right part you can see different views and if you're familiar with the tracer you can uh, imagine these views are like in the tracer because uh, it's, uh, this view helps you to debug your test in, uh, in this mode. So now it's time to see the UI mode uh, running. From this view, we can run one or many uh, tests contemporarily. So we can go to the user behavior and run all the group, for instance. As you can notice, the, uh, the view run uh, all the, the tests in this group. We can run maybe uh, only one test. For instance, the first player is uh, the X. So, uh, or maybe uh, should uh, uh, a test should win the player X because I wanna test this, this case. And uh, in the action part, as you can notice, we can see all the uh, action during the test. So we can click the action and check the result in, um, in the browser in the, in the right. And uh, each action uh, show what happened during the test. And in this way, we can uh, check the result and understand because uh, maybe uh, the reason why uh, one test uh, failed, for instance. In this case, uh, the, the test uh, go in the, in the right way. But uh, for instance, as you can notice, uh, the, um, the locator retry to, to time to, to, to get the, um, the right execution of this button. At the end, check the winner and uh, the test go in the right way. In the top, we can uh, use a sort of uh, timeline and we can see uh, what happened in the, uh, in the browser during the execution. So uh, in this case, uh, the application rendered the page now start to uh, play, uh, start for the, the X player, then the O player, and so on. And we can see all, um, all the, the status in the, in the view, for instance. It's fantastic because in the, in the bottom, we can also access to the, the test code. In this case, we can see uh, the test, the, the title of the test, and uh, the, the, the code of uh, this text. So we can uh, check what happened during uh, the test, but we can have also the, um, the link with uh, the code of, uh, this, uh, of uh, this action, for instance. As you can notice, when I click in the locator.click, the, um, in, the, in the right, uh, the, um, the, the view show which is the button that uh, uh, is affected by the, the click and uh, in the source uh, we, we can see which is the line of code that uh, run the, uh, this click for instance. I, I suppose it's uh, fantastic and uh, we can get a lot of info and we can debug in an easy way our test in the future. From this view we can also open uh, the file of the test using the uh, button in the right of the, the run, we can open the test in VS Code. For instance, we can click uh, the, the button for the, the first player, uh, that must be the X player. And uh, in this case, as you can see, the, the UI mode, the UI, the, play, uh, the playwright UI mode uh, view, open a new VS Code. In this case, we can, for instance, change the expectation from uh, x to o and we can save it i can go back to the playwright uh, view and as you can notice the the code is changed also in this view because the playwright um, the playwright view uh, keep uh, in sync the code 
in the file with the code in the in the viewer in this in this case so if i run this test again as you can notice now there is an error because the the test contain uh, x in, instead of uh, or like expected we can go back to the, the vs code change again the the container container test from o to x and go back to uh, our playwright um, playwright view and now as you can notice the text uh, the, the test is uh, changed again and we can run again the the test to check if uh, now the the bug is fixed and uh, that's all perfect it's okay and uh, as you can notice we can uh, use the playwright ui mode and we can integrate or change the code direct from vs code uh, to uh, fix uh, some bug or to improve our test because we are building a new test and we want to check the test direct from this view it's perfect and i hope this uh, this tool it's very 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 powerful it's uh, in beta but uh, i think uh, for now it's uh, good enough and you can use it in your daily without any problem yes please pay attention because it's on beta but uh, i think it's uh, it's stable and you can use it or maybe you can open a bug to the playwright team or help uh, the team to fix uh, some some mistake but uh, i think uh, this uh, this solution this uh, this panel is uh, fantastic for our developer or for our or for testing for tester because uh, help us a lot to check what happened during the test and uh, it's fantastic I, I suppose okay i suppose now you have an idea of how playwright uh, ui mode works and how you can use it to improve your daily works in the day by day i hope you enjoy this content and if you like it hit the like button below and if you want to stay updated with my content please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you and see you soon bye bye